In this video, we are doing compare fractions. Okay, before we start, I'm just gonna go ahead and read what I think you should know. The least common denominator is the like LCD is the least common multiple of the denominators of the fractions. You can use the lowest common denominator to compare fractions. So in this example, we have David made one out of two goals and Kevin made four out of five. Who made a greater fraction of goals? Okay, so we have David that has, they made one out of two goals. And then we have Kevin, they made four out of five. Okay, so we're gonna got, we have two fractions that we're gonna compare. We have one half and we have four over five. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and find the least common multiple to find the denominator of two of one half and four fifths. Okay, so here we have two. We can go ahead and start with two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. Okay, we can continue going. I stop there, then I continue here. Five, ten, and fifteen. I stop there because I stop at twelve. This is the highest, and here I stop at ten. At 15. So now I know that right away I see the least common multiple, which here is 10, and then here is 10 as well. So I saw that to get to 10, I'm multiplying 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and multiply that here in the bottom, which we're gonna go ahead and put. 1 over half. So we're going to multiply that by how many times here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we multiply by 5, 2 times 5 to get 10. So we're going to multiply whatever we multiply on the top. I also have to multiply in the bottom. So that's going to give me 5 times 1 is going to be 5. And then 5 times 2 is going to give me 10. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other one, on the 4th, on the 5th. I'm going to go ahead and multiply by 2. Multiply that by 2. And remember when I multiply on the top, I also have to multiply on the bottom. So it's going to give me 8 over 10. Okay. So now that I have that, I can go ahead and just put the number on the bottom and put 5 tenths and I have 8 tenths. Okay. Once you have that, you can go ahead and we're going to use three difference. You can put greater than, less than, or equal to. But in this here, we say 5 tenths. So we know that this number is going to be, the 8 tenths is bigger than this. So we're going to write the arrow facing that way. So we're going to say 5 10 is less than 8 tenths. Another way that we can go ahead and check uh, our work is by using manipulators. So we can go ahead and check. Here I'm using a tile. You can use tiles to go ahead and check if the answer is right. I have one that is one half, which we say he made one out of one out of two goals. And then we have one that says four out of five. So we're going to use the one fifth tile as well. To see if the answer was correct as well. If you have tiles or you think tiles using tiles is easier, you can go ahead and use them. You can use tiles. So we're going to use four of the one fifth tiles since it's saying um, Kevin made four out of five goals. So we can go ahead and check if the answer is correct. So if this is an easier way for you to find out which one is greater or less than. You can go ahead and use tiles as well to get the answer for this one. So as you can see, it is right. One fifth is greater than one half. So you would say one half is less than one fifth. So you can go ahead and do it this way when you go ahead and use the when you go ahead and use the fractions, at least common multiples, uh, and at least common denominators to find the answers, or you can go ahead and use the tiles. It's still gonna give you the same answer. In this example, we're going to be comparing two thirds and one fourth. Okay, 
So we're going to do the same thing we did on, on the other problem. We're going to go ahead and find out the LCM of the denominator of 2 thirds and 1 fourth. We're going to go ahead and start with 3. We go 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. I'm going to stop there. If I need to continue later on, I can go ahead and continue later on. Start with 4, 4, 8, 12, and 15. So right there I saw that I can go ahead and on 3 I see 12 and on 4 I see 12 as well. So then we're going to go ahead and see that we go ahead and put 2 thirds equals, I put 2 thirds, multiply, and we're going to multiply. So we're going to multiply that, the 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 by 4. Whatever we do on the top, we also have to do it on the bottom. So we're going to have 8 over 12. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing for, for 4. I'm just going to put a line here so you guys won't get confused. So we put 1 fourth equals one fourth. We're going to multiply now by one, two, three. Now we're going to have three. So four times three is twelve. So then we have three twelves. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and now we can go ahead and compare the fractions. We have eight over twelve. And then we have 3 over 12. So right there you know right away that 8 is bigger than 3. So you're going to have your greater than sign in there for this fraction. So you're going to say 2 thirds is greater than 1 fourth. If you haven't gone ahead, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. Okay, in this example we have 1 fourth and 2 8 okay same thing we're going to go ahead and find the LCM of the denominators of 1 fourth and 2 8 so we're going to start with 4 we go 4 8 and 12 and here you have 8 and 16 let's stop right away because I know there is two 8's in the same problem so we have 8 here and then we have 8 there so now we can go ahead and multiply to find the uh, denominator and we're going to go ahead and do that 1 4 we're going to multiply whatever we multiply on the bottom or the top you always have to do vice versa so for 4 we got 1 2 we're going to multiply by 2 so we put 2 on top we're going to put 2 on the bottom as well so we go ahead and multiply that so that's going to be 2 over 8 and we're going to go ahead on the other side and start with that 2 over 8 and multiply here we just multiply by 1 or we can just leave it like that because it's still going to be the same okay so just go ahead and do it you don't need to do this extra step just give it to you guys in case so you guys don't get confused which is the same thing so you can go ahead and stop there so you can go ahead now and check you have 2 8 2 8 and then you have 2 8 on the other one, okay. So it's other you put. Remember, I said you put greater, less than, or equal to. Okay. So here you have two eights and you have two eights. So what you're going to be putting is equal because it's the same. So one fourth is going to be equal to two eighths because it's the same thing. This example we're using two fifth and one over fifteen. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Find the least common multiple of the denom denominators of 2 fifth and 1 fifteenth. Okay, so start with 5. We start just 5, 10, 15, and 20. And we start here 15 and 30. I went ahead and stopped as I see there's 15 here and there's 15 here. So we're going to go ahead now and see 
how many times we're going to multiply 2 by and now we're going to see 1, 2, 3 so we multiply that by 3 so whatever we do on the top we also have to do it in the bottom so 2 times 3 is 6 and 5 times 3 is 15 I don't need to do nothing on this one because it's still going to stay the same to 1 fifth so all I have to do now is compare the fractions. We have 6 over 15 and we have 1 over 15. Right away you see that 6 is bigger than 1 so we're just going to put the greater than sign. So here up here we're just going to say 2 fifth is greater than 1 over 15.